So here is the interlocking ring fitting up next to your uh, engagement ring. Um, the center section tucks underneath the halo. Um, now you're going to see a little trim piece there because of the size of these first diamonds are pretty good sized diamonds and that sort of dictates the, uh, the width going across. I could trim it inside there uh, so it it tapers in a little bit if you'd like so you don't see as much of it. Um, I just make certain I don't thin it out too much so it weakens it. I'll make certain it has enough strength but I could trim a little bit of that center green section right there if you wanted to um, minimize that a little bit. As the diamonds taper I matched the, the large one there then you had the two center ones and I got two more to uh, match uh, two and a half millimeters at the bottom you can see how it fits and it's gonna tuck right in there I haven't sized down the engagement ring yet but those those will fit uh, pretty snug uh, you might want to decide to solder these together once they're finished so they, so they don't turn but that that's optional um, and then the height Let's see if I can get this in focus. The height is, um, again, determined by those um, size of those diamonds. I couldn't sit them any lower um, because of the depth of them. So it is, it's a little uh, higher than the size as they come up on your engagement ring, but we don't have a lot of option on that. And then they'll have a bar setting each one of them. Uh, they'll, each one will be channel set with the piece of the yellow gold going in between each one. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.